And welcome to another episode of Kentucky Brew Review. I'm Steel Reserve. Special K. And I'm Radar. Tonight we have a highly requested uh, alcohol. We it's have uh, absinthe. Uh, not any specific brand. People just want to see absinthe on the show, especially uh, Ken. Mm hmm. Yep. Ken the Canadian, because that's what I'm going to call him. Ken the Canadian? Because he's from you know, Canada. I never even thought to call him that. Uh, this is Mephesto's. I, I love the name, by the way. This is why I bought it, because this is Mephesto, X Men villain. Uh, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you don't know what. Um, Dude in the Bible. If you don't know what. Uh, <laughs> Is that right? No. I don't, I don't think Mephesto is no, in the Bible. No, he's in. But he's not in the Bible. Uh, this is 65% alcohol by volume, which is pretty high. But typically, absinthe are going to be between uh, 48 and 75% alcohol by volume. They're pretty high. Um, if you don't know what absinthe is, it's essentially a alcohol brewed with uh, wormwood. Well, it's not brewed, but distilled with wormwood, uh, fennel, anise. Um, and some a few other and the green herbal. ones are are blended with uh, secret ingredients that are unique to each place. Um, and then you'll see some like lucid that are like neon green that shouldn't be really neon green. They should have some of them. They can have a green hue to them. They can be lots of different colors. It's supposed to just be chlorophyll. Like that's what's supposed to give it the green color. So I have not. Uh, chlorophyll doesn't turn it that color. I don't care what anyone says. That's the green I would expect it to be. Yeah. So you should pour. Uh, about an ounce a and a half. No, for, for what we're going to do, I'll explain it later. Ah, about an ounce and a half. Do you have a special thing happening now? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. And special typically, uh, absinthe, uh, one of the things that turns people off from absinthe is they drink it straight, which you are not supposed to do. Mm. It says yeah. clearly right here on the bottle you should mix it with water. It doesn't say anything about sugar, There's but it says the why it's brewed so mix hot. with water and ice. Mix with water and ice. So we're going to look at it. It does have a nice green hue to it, but not an unnatural looking green. Yeah, it looks like maybe this has been this has been aged on staves of bluegrass. And we are going to try this straight just for you folks, even though we know you don't typically drink absinthe straight. I mean, it's not going to be ba as bad as Jaeger. So, because this is going to be like lightly, uh, lightly flavored. It's not, it's not going to kill you. So it, absinthe still reminds me of electric shave. Does anybody know what that is? Electric shave, it's like an aftershave Jennifer, in a green bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yes, yes. But in all honesty, you get the anise in there, you do get fennel, almost cinnamon. I think a little bit of cinnamon. Yeah, I was about to say, there's something, uh, there's a spicy note in this. And this is 65% alcohol by volume, so this is going to be fairly hot. But again, you're not supposed to drink it straight, but we're going to, so let's take a taste. Because why not? Yeah. Um, it's pretty strong. Uh, yeah. the, and these and fennels are right up front. So this um, is why you mix it with like two thirds water, ice water and and sugar. Yeah, because it needs those. So things. I'm not I'm not gonna give this. A, I'm not rating this straight just because we know this isn't how it's supposed to be drank. And yeah, drank. Not, but it's not particularly good. It's a little bitter. Uh, it's too hot. It's too high of proof to enjoy straight. Really, anything over. 50% alcohol is a little too hot. So what I have here, I, yes, I know you're supposed to have a spoon and a sugar cube, but you can also use simple syrup. So that's what we're doing. This is a simple syrup, which is sugar water, pretty much. Well, thick sugar water. So I'm going to add two teaspoons of simple syrup to mine. Oh, yes. And then I'm going to add some purified. Now, this, is pure, this isn't tap water. It's purified ice water. It's very cold. I'm going to add about uh, three to four ounces of water in here. So you, need like get, you need to get a, uh, a, a, dri a dripper. Yep, there you go. Now, the deal here is it's supposed to go cloudy. It, and you, you look at mine, it hasn't clouded up like some absence do, but it has clouded up a little bit. Yep. Pass it on, pass it on. Uh, we will do another episode of showing uh, different ways to uh, use make absinthe or prepare absinthe. Uh, yes, we know there are a bunch of different ways to do it. Everybody thinks their way is the right way. So we're going to do an entire episode dedicated. I'd put more water in yours. So you know, so. I think we all right. Because most people, they say one part absinthe, four part water. That's what most. Four part? Wow. Yeah. So. It's got a little weird glass. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it like this and then maybe I'll add some more water. Yeah. So Pass yeah, um, like uh, I said. Here, hold on. Let me take a look at yours. Special K. Yeah, I need more water. <laughs> It's really strange to me to be, to be mixing so much water on top of alcohol. 
and I keep on forgetting that it's this much. It's got lots of little legs floating around in there. Oh, okay. it's, it's, it's so well, it's 65%. Sorry, no. right, let's take a smell now while Radar's finished this. Mm. Now see, now it's mostly a knees. So black licorice. Yeah. Now you don't get that strong fiddle. Um, the knees is showing up. It smells a lot more herbal. It, it smells it, a lot it more It smells pleasant. a lot nicer, yes. Yeah. Yeah, you can look at all oh, your, yeah. you get a lot of legs. Yes, indeed. You can totally tell that's high. Um, let's go ahead and take a drink. It smells much nicer now. That's not bad. It was more just like... It's a nice flavor of water. Is what no, it is. It's I think it's... No, you get, you get a lot of the, you get you get the, you get more fennel in there. You get more of the uh, herbs in there than you would trade. It's like fancy candy. It's a store. lot easier to drink. Um, oh yeah, smoother. The sugar does make it a little less bitter. I think two te two mm -hmm. tablespoons is the perfect amount. Um, yeah, I mean it's okay. I'm not a big fan of an ease, but I can I can drink this. I can drink, drink no this. problem. The only thing with this is I would like to mix this up into a batch. Like, I would, you'd have to get, for that size, you'd have to get, like, five wine bottles and fill those up. But, uh, I bet you you could batch this out in, like, big amounts. Yeah, but it's, big not, amounts. it's not absent. It's not really absent works. Yeah, I know, but it would be a whole lot easier that way. So, let's be, so, like I said, really good absinthe will get a lot cloudier than this. This one didn't get super cloudy. Um, that's because this is, like, a $30, $35, $40 bottle of absinthe. If you're going to get a good bottle of absinthe, you're talking at least $100, $150. It, it at gets, least. Pretty expensive. Pretty get a fast. good bottle of absinthe. Um, this one does have the wormwood in them. Um, uh, it, absinthe just started being sold in the United States about five or six years ago again because mm -hmm. it was illegal. Um, I know this will not make you hallucinate. That's we're not uh, about to go eat the couch cushions. That's also an urban myth. Uh, and again, for another episode. So, like I said, we will show other ways to prepare the absinthe on another episode. What would you rate this overall? Uh, this absinthe. It's pretty. I like. Uh, just on Friday, I had a couple that were pretty good, and this actually is is up there with the uh, the eighty dollar range. To be quite honest, that's this I would give like I think this is about an eight. This is pretty good absinthe. I also had some terrible absinthe, and this is way better. <laughs> um, I'm not a big fan of the nice flavor. That being said, uh, I'd still give this a uh, six point five. I still think it's above that. It's good. It's not great. Um. It's not something I can see myself drinking regularly. I've had had yeah. a, I've have had a couple uh, absence before in the past. What about you, Steel? Um, you know, it's not it's not terrible. It's I could drink it. You know, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm probably gonna give it a seven here. You know, it's not the worst thing I've had, and. I actually like that licorice taste they gave me. You know? Yeah, once it's got like, the once it's with the once water, it's got and sugar, the water it's good. And the sugar. It's like yeah. fancy candy. Exactly. It's like fancy licorice, not not Jägermeister licorice. And if your first, fancy licorice. yeah, if your first experience is drinking this as a shot, I'm sorry because this is not what this is made for. It is rough as a shot. Uh -huh. yeah, it needs the water. It needs the sugar. All right. Well, if you want to see anything <laughs> on our channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Special K. Steel Reserve. And I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.